my bottle is pretty much empty, so this is probably going to be lame, but let's see if we can not spool this thing up a little bit with some nitrous. <laughs> well, that was pretty lame, but yeah, the bottle's completely empty. It would have been a lot cooler if it was full, trust me. Uh, been a lot more dense. Uh, I got a million excuses, but you know what? I don't need them. I got a, I got a goddamn turbo sitting on my bench. <laughs> I can get lazy. Like we're just gonna jump into this video. It's gonna be really weird and sloppy, but that's turbo life, son. You wouldn't understand. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the model. This is the model of my super expensive turbo off eBay. So this is a really popular cheap turbo. There's a few YouTube channels that have used this thing. I honestly thought this thing was going to be a lot smaller. If I could do it over, I would probably order a like a three or four hundred dollar turbo. This was I want to say about one hundred and twenty five bucks, something like that, like delivered to the house. I just, you know, I'm the eBay master. If I find something on eBay, I'm like, you know, you'll start at about one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty bucks, and you're like, ah, you just kind of keep going through. You got to know how to work the system on eBay, and uh, you'll get down there. And then you gotta kinda pick between the shipping, like, uh, this one's gonna take a while. But anyway, getting off track. We got some nitrous parts that came in finally. I uh, got the jets that I want, jets, nozzles, whatever you wanna call them, uh, some fittings, and we about to get going on this turbo project. So I like to take you guys along for the ride, and you know, it is what it is. People, that if they wanna see one video and be like, let's see it run, just shut the fuck up. I mean, honestly, just shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm so sick of these guys, like, uh, this is, as far as I know, this hasn't been done on a chainsaw, it literally hasn't, so, I've had, like, one or two people say there's a guy on Facebook that's done it, but I would think that would be all over YouTube, it'd be all over every one of these forums, and I hope there is somebody that's done it, because I want to see it work, and the way that I'm going to go about it is going to be way different. I think a lot of you are going to be kind of shocked when you see what I'm actually doing. But to start this off, I have learned from other channels that have messed with these little turbos, they're really common, that you need to take it apart, do, you know, there's going to be some, some poor quality machining and some rough edges and some bad gaskets and shitty hardware. I'm going to go through this whole thing. You know, I already took off this this little hose right here. I'm gonna obviously gonna be replacing that. That's garbage, and but you know, it is what it is. I'm not I'm not saying that, it, you know, it's a hundred and twenty dollar turbo delivered to your house. So, it is what it is, guys. Um, you know, that gauge and them nozzles are about as much as this freaking turbo was. So if you're gonna get what you're gonna get, but I know that the the hardware for the impeller, like uh, this this guy right here, the nut for the impeller and all that, that needs to get loctite it on because uh, a couple different people that have had those things basically come loose and that that can be real bad uh, not only wreck your turbo it can get inside something actually expensive like your engine so this uh, my basic rundown of turbos like like I said with nitrous I was not any kind of an expert on nitrous um, there's a group of us that like to throw ideas around and our motto is basically None of us are experts. We all want to see it work. I'm the idiot that'll hold it wide open. I mean, if I could get t-shirts made, that would be the slogan. Okay, so we got this all torn apart. Um, this is just a, basically a washer that sits on here. And this is the the exhaust side, the hot side, and it's got a little bit of rough, you know, rough casting. That's all right, fix that, no problem. For what I paid for it, I'm actually not not at all disappointed. Um, again, I wish I would have got a different model, but that's just knowing what I know now. This this kind of sucks. This is welded in. I mean, there's no... You'd have to basically break this thing to get it out and then put your own sort of, like, C-clip on there or something. And I got the impeller and the shaft out. I'm not going to take the the guts a bit apart. You know, you could get further into it. Uh, I just don't know what's in here. I might look into it and see if it's a good idea to take it apart, but... Yeah, I got your shaft and... Everything spins real well. It's actually not bad. I mean, little seven millimeter guy right here, reverse thread. So we got it apart. I'm just gonna kind of touch it up a little bit and throw it back together. There's no gaskets in this. I must have seen a different, uh, different video 
but I know someone had they had gaskets. I thought I want to say it was that grind hard plumbing with their Barbie car, but maybe they put gaskets in it is what it was. Um, but they had some of their hardware had busted. You know these actually this hardware looks okay, but this these are cheap. I'm gonna replace these. Uh, they seem really cheap, like really light. So get rid of them. Figure out what I need to do here. Um, get all my little fittings, all these little eighth inch NTP to 3AN and I'm used to that from the nitrous stuff now. I'm going to run all this quick braided line, the you know 3AN stuff, just because it's, I'm going to have this damn thing apart 57,000 times, so make it easy. And uh, all these quick, you know, these quick swivel connections and it just makes it easier, so. Well, let's get this thing looking a little better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use gasket maker. I'm just gonna put gaskets in it where I think they should be. I don't think it's really necessary on the cold side, but I think on the, you know, the hot side, I do have a gasket set with it that has all these gaskets. But uh, I think I'm gonna make use gasket maker and make a a gasket in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again. Not the worst machining for, I thought it would be a lot worse. There we go, guys. Okay, so good amount, we're going to call that, of red red uh, thread locker on there, Loctite, whatever you want to call it. And I don't want that damn thing coming off. I'd rather this thing, you know, someone's going to be like, oh, you're not going to be able to get that off there. For one, you know what, You can that red thread locker, you can get that shit off. It ain't that hard. And... Uh, I would rather throw this thing away than have that nut come off and go through the go through the saw. That'd be a shit show. So no, I'm not gonna use any gasket maker. This this stuff all rotates in here. So that rotates in there. And then it's you know it's held on. These these brackets go on the back side and it's held on. So I'm thinking that is so you can kind of move it around if you want one part pointing one way and all that. So I'm not gonna use gasket maker. I'm gonna replace this hose. I think this this give this flex is gonna be an issue look into figuring out what I got to do with that waiting for that damn standalone pump that's where I'm sitting right now but tomorrow I'll go to the hardware store get all these little fittings and shit I need so I can plumb it in probably get it plumbed in get this back together that shouldn't be too bad at all probably throw a thread locker on all the bolts for this thing because I don't want it coming apart um, after I figure out how I want it oriented you know like I might want it sitting in there different so for now I'm just gonna throw it back together research into what I got to do with this I'm that kind of guy that I just I really do think that I got to do something that this is gonna be it's gonna take too much for this to open up and I don't know sometimes I do shit that I shouldn't have done but hey it happens and I need to get my nitrous uh, my mother bottle and probably my other bottle so I'll probably run the nitrous saw tomorrow and give her hell so I can dump the last of that tank. Uh, I want to switch gauges. This is all stuff you guys don't care about, but that should be fun. Get to run the nitrous saw indoors because it's like 20 below outside. We have had the worst cold snap in Minnesota that I literally think it's the end of the world. I think literally there would be an, a zombie apocalypse if they wouldn't freeze to death. Even even the walking dead are frozen. They'd freeze. Like you don't know, you know that show the walking dead with the zombies they'd be fucking frozen to the sidewalk. It'd be just, it'd be the most boring show ever. Everybody would freeze to death, game over, all done. All right, one thing I realized, thank God I looked at this because I have a few days before I'll be able to get to it anyway. I didn't I didn't know I needed special oil lines for this, so I had to order a oil feed kit, they call it. So it's basically, it's not just as simple as plumbing this, you know, eighth inch stuff in. You gotta have special lines for these things, so. Like I said, good thing I looked at it and uh, got that on order, so hopefully that'll be here. Uh, the pump is taking a while to get here, so it is what it is. But uh, the basic setup of these, and you guys can go ahead and correct me because I don't know about turbos. I'm, uh, you basically have your, your hot side, your cold side, and your exhaust is going to come in here. This is going to be your exhaust straight out of your cylinder. And then this would be, if you have an exhaust pipe sticking off, would be out here. And that's your wastegate here. I have this arm taken off right now, but... I don't. I didn't put that C clip in because I'm gonna mess with that anyway. So that would be your wastegate. Uh, I'm assuming when you get too much boost, if there's such a thing, that it's gonna open that up, and uh, 
you know, then you're going to have exhaust coming out, whatever pipe you have off here. Uh, this is for your oil return line, feed line. This is part of the wastegate system. And no, so okay, so how would that work? So your wastegate actually is operated. Oh, interesting. So I'm learning as I go here. So your wastegate is operated on the cold side. And if you have too much pressure on your cold side, I'm thinking, or it's not even necessarily too much pressure, I'm thinking what happens is it's opening this valve. And that is set for, like, say, if you wanted 6 pounds boost or 12 pounds of boost, once you get to that, I'm thinking, you guys can tell me on that. I'm, I'm not afraid to put myself out there. Like, I just really don't know about this stuff. I'm going to find out. But um, I get I get the gist of it. You know, the way that you feed the fuel, you can either, you know, basically draw it through the carb or put it on this side, which I think would be an epic shit show for what I'm trying to do. So I think the carb and air filter are just going to be on this side, and then it's going to be you know, spinning the impeller and forcing air down this way and sucking air through here, drawing it through the carb and the air filter, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's how a wastegate works. I kind of was thinking of that different, but yeah, it must build up because that's that elbow here. It builds up, you know, because this is your carb and uh, filter. And then this is going into your intake, which is basically going to be sealed off. So this, yeah, this would build too much pressure in here and whatever amount of pressure it builds up and then it opens this wastegate and then it dumps the exhaust out so if i'm totally wrong and you want to laugh at me go ahead but at least correct me um there it is guys i think you know i'm going to draw it through the carburetor and then i'm going to in all if everything goes well which it most definitely will not i'll have a glorious charge of boosted mixed fuel and air shoving down the intake and no problems whatsoever because it's a two-stroke turbo it's super easy no problems whatsoever this ought to be done by shit seven o'clock tomorrow uh, i don't have the pump uh, or the oil lines so it's gonna take a little longer but and if i had those parts this should be done by seven o'clock all right guys let's boost this